it's very common for people to say, I really have to sit down and give myself a good talking to. But has it ever occurred to you that some of these people may be doing it wrong? Hi, I'm hypnotist and personal coach Peter Gross, and this video is part of a series about how to use self-hypnosis to make small but meaningful changes in your life. This particular video is how to talk to yourself, specifically how to create effective self-hypnosis suggestions. In other videos that follow, I'll explain what to do with these, but for now, let me share the characteristics that I think make up a great hypnotic suggestion. Number one, be positive. Many times clients come into my office and I ask their goal and they say things like, I don't want to be fat or I don't want to smoke anymore or I don't want to be afraid when I fly. Although it's natural to phrase things this way, ultimately it's very hard for our minds, both the conscious and the unconscious mind, to know exactly what they mean. What does it mean exactly to not be afraid? How do you know when you're doing it? How do you know when you're not doing something? You're really actually doing something else. In that case, you're noticing that you're not being afraid. So when you think about composing a hypnotic suggestion, I always suggest that you pose it in the positive. For example, you may say, I want to eat healthier. I want to be a non-smoker. I want to feel more comfortable when I fly. Number two, be specific, as specific as you can. When people come to me for weight loss, I often ask them, how do you see yourselves getting to your goal? For example, do you plan on cutting out certain foods? Do you plan on exercising more? Do you plan on controlling your portions or the number of meals you have per day? Especially for weight loss, the media is chock full of information about what we should be doing if we want to lose weight. So everybody who comes to my office has a certain amount of information about how they plan on going from their current weight to their goal weight. No matter what your goal is, you may want to choose getting specific. I mean, it's perfectly fine to say, I want to be 60 pounds lighter if you happen to be standing in front of a genie who's promised you 60, uh, three, three wishes. But if you're going to do it by yourself, you probably need to have a plan even before you even think about using self-hypnosis. Number three, use the present tense. For most people in most situations, that's as easy as simply starting your, your hypnotic um, suggestion with the phrase, I am ready. For example, I am ready to exercise every day. I am ready to cut chocolate out of my diet. I'm ready to buy my tickets for my next vacation. Most of these changes that we want to make, we've had in our minds for a long time. We've simply been unable to act on them. That means that along with the idea of what we want, there's also anxiety and guilt and shame and regret about not having started already. These emotions drain us of motivation. So the first thing we need to do is we need to announce to ourselves, both our conscious mind and our conscious mind, that we are ready to go past all of those emotions and get started. So, in the positive, be specific, and in the present tense. These are the things you need to do. And if you're ready, see what I just did there? Sit down and write down your first set of hypnotic suggestions. And I'll tell you what to do next in the next video.